I would highly recommend this, like highly. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video, sort of like a review kind of a thing that we're going to be doing today. If you don't know, Makeup Revolution came to Cape Town, which is extremely exciting because many of my favorite YouTubers use Makeup Revolution because it's like so affordable. Initially, I thought, okay, maybe it's affordable for like, like people overseas, like in America or in Europe. But when they came to Cape Town, I was like, okay. 109 rand for a stick foundation not bad so um we're gonna give it a try i got a few products i think i got like lipsticks a palette and foundation i didn't get everything because and this is not sponsored um obviously got everything with my own money so yeah i don't want to splurge or whatever and then maybe i don't like this stuff you know what i mean if you want to see this a makeup revolution sort of like a review then please keep on watching okay so as always my little rabbit ears are going on also my hair is like really like flat just letting you guys know because i just washed it so it's like fresh and it's still drying and all of that awkwardness is still happening so this is basically what i bought i got a palette how nice is that packaging it's like and then i got i don't know why i did this to myself but anyway i got three nude lipsticks and then i got a stick foundation as well it kind of looks like a lipstick container but um, yeah, apparently these are really, really good. So I've done absolutely nothing to my skin. So let's start with that. I use a Clarins toner. This is a toning lotion. This is also from Clarins. It's the Bright Plus. And I actually posted about this recently, like in a video on Instagram. I really, really enjoy this product on my skin. So obviously for this review, it's not just going to be makeup revolution i'm obviously going to use like other products and see how the products sort of gel with my usual makeup that i use bronzers all of those kind of things by the way do you guys like enjoy like a um longer makeup videos or do you enjoy like maybe like under six minutes comment down below what you prefer because i've obviously been like out of this whole makeup video regime kind of a thing for a while so i don't know like what you guys like you know what i mean so comment down below and let me know so for my primer i'm going in with my fix plus as my just sort of like a primer in a sense by the way this is the rose one it smells amazing like amazing i don't know if this is going to suit me it's f11 i just chose it based off of like what i swatched in the store but you know the store lighting is never the same it's like natural lighting outside, so there's that. To buff it in, I'm gonna go in with this MAC brush. It's a 196, like a buffing brush. It's really easy to blend. That's what I'm picking up. It actually doesn't look that bad on camera. But in real life, I feel like it looks a little bit too, like, warm. It actually doesn't look that bad. No, it's not that bad. I feel like this would be a good, like, summer shade. And I mean, we're going into summer now anyway, you know. In terms of coverage, I really like this coverage. Um, it's gotten rid of, like, blemishes and things like that. I genuinely like this coverage this is nice like look at that glow i've still got a glow i still see my freckles as you guys know i like to see my freckles but um it's not like cakey let's see how it performs with other products so i'm gonna go in with my uh mac studio fix concealer i'm in nc what shade is this nc40 This is blending so, so beautifully. Next up, we're going to do a little bit of a contour. And I'm using my favorite Rimmel London Insta Contour Stick. But I just use the darker shade. And to blend, I'm using a Sigma Angled Foundation Brush. 
This is the brush that all of you guys were asking me about on my live the other day. Such a good brush. Like, I really enjoy using this, this brush. I will use this brush for everything. Everything. I think that's like a decent canvas. Really. Like, let me just set this quickly. I'm using a Wet n Wild pressed powder. I love this. Like, I... Oh, this is like such a beautiful coverage that this is giving me it's got that glow and i mean you guys saw i already set my under eyes and i set around this area as well but it's still got such a beautiful glow i would highly recommend this like highly so i'm just gonna quickly do my brows off camera because you guys have seen me do this like five million times so my brows are done and i'm just gonna add some blush i'm using the Stila palette um this is called perfect me perfect you and I'm going to use that shimmery blush over there. This is one of my favorite blushes. So now we're going to start on the actual palette. Like I said in the beginning, packaging really cute. So when you open it, it comes in like this black packaging. So it's got each, each shade has like a name for that plastic sleeve. Okay, so I didn't really set my eyelid at all. So I'm going to... Oh, and I have to look at this thing the whole time if I want to see what the names are. Anyway, let's just go with that. I'm going to use the first shade in the palette. It's called Paper. They don't have any warm browns in this palette. I've noticed it's all like cool toned. So I'm going to go in with this shade called Almost There. Quite a lot of fallout on the matte shades. I'm just going to put this in my crease. So I'm going to go in with this shade called Bailey Pink. I don't know, but there's so much fallout in this palette. It's like, oh. So I'm going to go in with Red Night. And I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with like a little, I'm going to kind of create like a little bit of a cut crease. I'm using the Master Conceal from Maybelline. And then I'm going to set that with a pinky kind of a shade. I'm going to go in with the shade called Highlight. And I'm going to use my fingers for that. Okay, so for my liner today, I'm going in with this Maybelline Master Ink liner. And it's in Luminous Black. All right, I'm waiting for my lashes to dry. I don't know when last I even said that because I haven't worn lashes for like months. And I'm just gonna carry on with the rest of my face while I wait. So many of you have been asking about my new kind of highlight that I use and it's not even new. I've been using these two as a combination. So I go in with this one first. It's the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter and it's in the shade Sin. and i'm using a contour brush actually from real techniques so what i sometimes i'll wet it but today i'm not going to and then i'll go in with this one it's the precious petals one from wet and wow and i sort of just sweep that over it but not like a lot sometimes if i feel it's a little bit too much i literally just brush it and I press it into my skin for my lips I showed you I have three lip products but I'm gonna be lining my lips with this lip liner it's a lip pencil from Catrice in Hey Macadamia A hey. and I overline my lips a little bit Okay, so I have two, I actually bought three, but I have two lipsticks that I'm going to be using on my lips. I'm going to be using Prime and Higher. So I'm going in with Prime sort of as like the base, if that makes sense. I haven't even opened this one, but I swatched it in store and I really liked it. First of all, packaging is like stunning. And then I'm going in with Higher, which is like a really light pinky kind of a shade. And I'm just putting that in the center. 
Okay, so I first actually have to put mascara on. I completely forgot. I'm gonna try this one for Maybelline. It's called the Falsies Push Up Mascara. It's a nice silicone brush. Okay, and now I'm going to apply my Falsies. I feel like these look a little bit like drag queeny, but it's the first time I'm ever wearing them. We shall see. If it is like very like draggy. Oh well. These are way too heavy. Oh my goodness. I think it's also because like I haven't worn lashes in such a long time. Like they just don't look good. Um I just want to add some shadow to my bottom lashes so it can like balance each other out. Um I'm gonna go in with copper shimmer again. And then I'm also going to go in with pure chocolate. Add that on the bottom lash line as well. I don't know when last I looked like this. Like a little like doll. Okay, and then to finish off, I'm going to spritz my face. To spritz it, I'm using the Fix Plus Gold Light. Okay, guys. So there you have it. This is the end of my makeup revolution slash like drag queen basically makeup this is very weird and I'm, I'm actually like shocked that i used to do my makeup like this like often so yeah i don't wear falsies i don't wear eyeliner like i don't wear this kind of eyeshadow i don't do cut creases anymore like my makeup has become very like almost like natural kind of looking in a sense um but yeah i'm definitely loving this foundation so 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 much I love the coverage. I love the like glowiness that it gives you. So the foundation and the lipsticks are definitely something that I would highly recommend. I absolutely love the way that it looks on my skin. I love this lip combo and how everything blended in so beautifully with the foundation. The eyeshadow palette, don't buy it. So yeah, I basically wasted my money when it came to that, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's like a trial and error kind of thing, and I'm sure it was kind of entertaining for you guys to watch. So yeah, it's a big no for me in terms of the eyeshadow palette, but I love this foundation. Like, I'm going to wear this again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna leave it over there, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!